Okay. Uh, hi YouTube. Um, it's Joel again. I'm gonna. Have, last time my video didn't re record it, but it, the sound didn't record. So I'm gonna try to do as much as I can from the last record. I'm a computer tech, so I have access to a lot of old hard drives. Well, I had access to a whole bunch, whole bunch of old hard drives, and I was able to uh, open them up and take out all these strong neodymium magnets. These suckers are strong. Um, there's, they're attached or glued onto a metal. So what you see here in the middle, that's the actual magnet. Around it is just a me uh, metallic uh, um, hold or attachment. And I also purchased on the internet a sheet of magnetic. Um, it's a, a sheet that allows you to see the magnetic field inside a magnet. One of it, one side is very shiny, so it's really hard to see. So I'm using the side that's not so shiny. You can see there the magnetic field shows up. As I get the magnet close, the closer I stick it to the to the to the sheet, the stronger the image is, the sharper it is. So the closer we get, you know, it's like I guess like putting your eye really close to the paper to see the grains in it. It's the same idea. Anyway, um, one of, one of the poles here you can see it's divided in two. One of us the south pole, one of it is, is the north pole or the opposite pole, and. Um, completely invisible. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to see what the magnetic fields look like because I am just I, I really wonder what it is that um, is happening and if I'm able to see what's happening maybe I'm able to help out create a uh, magnetic motor so that everybody can use. Um, this, this is what I built. It's a uh, an old hard drive, a 10 gigabyte and what I did is I pulled off you know all the stuff that I didn't need and this was a great design because this one has the plate above anything else and that's very helpful if you want to use this as a base for something else for another project it does have all I don't have one right now but um, the oh hang on one sec Dude. see this is <laughs> what the other ones look like. They have there the the, uh, the plate is not above the um, the dish, I mean the, the, the edge of the metal here so I could use this for something else but I like this better. Uh, very nice design and it's very helpful for a lot of reasons. Okay now here comes this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a uh, spinning motor that does not stop. Now the problem with that is that there's always a point where you can think of it like a, um, a speed bump. Uh, this may be going real fast but it hits the speed bump and it stops. Now I've noticed that there's one direction that it doesn't hit it as hard as the other one. As soon as it crosses boom that point it gets repulsed harder than that attraction so it can keep on going see there it is so if it has enough pulse it'll keep on just pulsing 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 and you know um, all it has to do is overcome that little speed bump now uh, later on I'm going to be designing something better maybe on a piece of wood so that it, this thing just has nothing but um, it, it doesn't have a resting place or it has very little resting place and the pushing it's hard, stronger than the um, and the pulling, so um, we're just trying to lower the uh, or 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 control when is when it is that we wanted to push, so that this thing generates electricity. Okay. Now, and I understand you know all the laws that say me I can't do this, but I'm sure this is just a machine. This has already got energy moving in it. All we have to do is find a way to um, get that out. Very easy. Not so easy because it hasn't get actually it has been done, but it's not a the general knowledge to most to the public. Okay, so anyway, what I wanted to show is what the magnetic field looks like here. 
Now there's the piece of the, that magnet right there. There's the wheel. You see the wheel moving. This one here is the stator, uh, stator or static magnet. It's not moving in with 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 the, with the plate. There. And you notice that the um, the lights are trying to um, are were attracted to each other there. They kind of seem to pull. Boom! Right there. I'm not moving it. Now, if I push it just a little bit, pew, that's where you notice that the push happens. So, see, I wasn't able to visualize that before, but you can see that line in the middle of the magnet separating the poles. It's very strong. That's where the strongest push there is. So, I don't know if we can design magnets to have an ability to push, just a better ability to push. Then, then that's where we are going to be able to create um, magnetic motors that have a higher efficiency. You know, they're always just they're always just pushing, pushing, pushing. So anyway, awesome. Get one of these. They're only like about twenty dollars. They help a lot in visualizing what you're already doing, what's already happening around us. So you know that'll give us a big hand on on, on working on getting something going for free, um, free energy. I mean. Uh, this is just bull crap. The golf should not have happened. That's what I think. Anyway, uh, leave me your comments. Um, let me know what you think. And, you know, I'm going to be designing some more of these, so I'm just really curious at what, what other people have to say. Okay, thanks.